Hello everyone, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me. I'd like to share with you today some ideas about how to revitalize your home um, with some simple hacks and things you can do to just change things up a little bit and make your home feel a little bit more vibrant and alive and maybe reflecting more of, of you. Now, um, our homes are our sanctuary. I mean, I live in one space, one room, so I, I've got it very well organized to, you know, the way that I love it. And by the way, I should probably put a little link to the um, video I did of my room because it's, um, you know, it's my space. Space and is and is a perfect um, example of what you can do, with, you know, with a small area. But um, the thing that uh, I think a lot of people face is it starts to feel, you know, very ordinary. Like you've you've had it like that for years. You've had th furniture in the same place. You've had the same art, the same, you know, little accessories and whatever. But maybe it's time to just um, enliven it a bit. You know, try try something a little bit different. And I've got seven pretty simple hacks that you can do that aren't going to necessarily cost you a lot of money. Now the first thing is to move furniture around. Now I did this um, with the help of my grandson Max because he was giving some suggestions. I was saying, how can we change this around? He said, just move the sofa. And we did. And it looks so much better. Um, I mean, in the sense that I now, when you see, if you see the video, you'll see it's over this side and now it's in front or you know, right, right against the wall as you come in. And it just gives a much more spacious feeling. So that's one thing that you can definitely do. Rearrange the furniture, you know, move a, co a coffee table from one side of the room to the other. Um, you know, maybe put a, a blanket or some kind of a short, like a, a decorative topping on, on one of your chairs, like a shawl or throw a blanket. Um, just something that you can move things around, put a table in a different location, just try something a little bit different. Create a new seating arrangements. You know, maybe that's an idea to do. I'm just going to do one little thing I completely forgot to do, which is to put my light up here. I don't know whether that actually makes a difference because it's a pretty bright day. But anyway, the second thing is to repurpose items. And this is to do things in a way that you might not think about it. Now, I don't know whether you, well, you can see that I've got a little um, unit here that, the, that this flower vase is on that I've actually constructed, you know, from an Ikea set, but I made it, the, the shelves a little different. And, um, you know, it's just my way of repurposing that that uh, that unit. Um, use a wooden ladder as, a, as shelving you know, mason jars as organizers. I'm a huge fan of, ma of mason jars, by the way. Um, I, don't, I don't actually call them mason jars, they're just jars, but I put things in them and, you know, different color, be different color um, lentils, different color um, uh, beads and crystals. And I just put them around as decoration. Empty wine bottles can be considered vases. Now this one here, I purchased at a, um, you can see it actually, it's really pretty. I purchased it at a um, recycling place and it was um, doing something else. And, and now I'm using it as a, I think it's like a, a drink vase and I'm using it as a flower vase. Um, vintage teacups as candle holders. That's a really cool one, like using a cup, um, even making a candle and filling it up in a, in, a, in a cup, but using vintage cups, vintage plates. A lot of people, um, you know, the simple white dishes all around your table, just mix it up with different pet patterns, you know, go out with a theme of like, you know, blue or floral or whatever your theme is going to be and buy different kinds of plates, repurpose them. Um, wooden pallets can be used as uh, furniture. You can stack them up for tables. There's all kinds of cool things you can do by repurposing your, your existing um, treasures. You might have been in the garage, never thought about using them for that purpose. Another thing is to add a splash of color. Color for me um, is like the way to really enliven and bring to life a room. Now I have got so many things uh, rainbowy themed here um, in my place and I've, I've got like a, a wooden, uh, like it's a marble run, like you put marbles in it and it runs down, but it's all different bright colors. Um, and just for some reason, having a corner with a little bright colorful piece really brings the place to life. So that's one thing to consider. Also cushions, you know, drapes, um, again, throws, um, just kind of find colors that, you know, vibrate with you. And maybe you're a blue green person and you've got no blue green in your room. Put a, put a cushion out there and you know, do something with it. And the great place to find those things, by the way, charity shops. They're really perfect to find all kinds of things that you don't want to spend $50 on a, you know, whatever cushion. But you can find, I've, um, oh, I should really show you, shouldn't I? Wait a minute. This is the joy of living in a really small space. I can actually just right now reach over to my sofa and I'll show you. I bought these cushions at a, um, a charity shop and they were like $5 each, but look at this. Can you see? They're just so, so pretty. And this is one side and that are completely different on the other side. 
anyway, that, uh, uh, excuse the diversion into my own house here, but, and the other one is similar, but not exactly the same. They're really, there's two of them to, 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 to match, but they don't match. Anyway, the second thing is, or the third thing, I think is third or fourth, is to green up your space, plants. Now these are, are not real. They're okay, they're very beautiful, but they're my little, my little, because I can't grow flowers and they're very expensive actually <laughs> to keep buying fresh flowers. So I love these little roses. I just think they're so, so pretty. And there's my, you know, my, my little vase. But um, put some, put some plants in your, in your house. Um, you know, some green, some succulents, cactus. Um, it proves the air quality. <laughs> it actually it gives you a sense of uh, tranquility. You're out in nature. It's just such a cool, cool thing to do. Um, another thing you can do is to infuse your, your place with personal touches. You know, things from your travels, things, um, pictures. I have got um, collages of pictures all around my room. I just love having my family visu visually there on, on my wall. In fact, I'm very much like that with all my things. I like to see, like I have clear plastic folders that I put things in so I can see through them. I like to be able to see things, but adding personalized touches is such a great way to spruce up your place and, you know, revitalize it. Um, maybe it's pictures from a holiday. Maybe it's like a, um, you know, something that you brought back from, you know, from a trip. Um, but, you know, those personalized touches can make the place uniquely yours. You know, it's, it's like no one else has got that in their home. Well, if they do, they were in the same place as you. But you know what I'm saying? They make it uniquely yours and they can evoke positive memories. You know, they can bring back the memory of the place or the people that you met, or it just gives an emotion to your room and, and those cherished items. I mean, I've got, you know, a few things, hearts and, and um, crystals that people have given me um, scattered about my room. And they are like, I, when my eye catches them, I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember that gift or that person or that time or whatever and it's really really precious um so personalized um touches are really really important now at the heart of all this is decluttering you know <laughs> that is probably in, in a way that's the, probably the best most um positive thing that you can do to spruce up your home and revitalize it in, into a peaceful more peaceful place it's just to organize and that doesn't mean throwing stuff out i'm not saying you have to be a, minim a minimalist here but you know there's this chaos that surrounds you sometimes and then that affects your health, your health and your head and um, so getting rid of a lot of the clutter. Find storage solutions. Um, you know, I mean, as I was mentioning with this little, um, I can't really show it to you, but the, the way I've organized the shelving here is that I've got some places for things that I don't want tucked away. I don't want them in a hidden place, but I want them to be part of a, a decor that you know, blends into the room. So another thing is um, you know, uh, baskets, really beautiful baskets. There's some really pretty ones around these days. I, there's one I saw which was like uh, black, uh, it, was, it was a straw color and then it had a black and white rim around it. It was really, really cool. I, I, I would have bought it, but I have nothing to put in it. I mean, it was just a big basket for like, you know, to put, I don't know, blankets or whatever. But that's one thing you can do. Another thing is to improve the, the lighting in your house. Now, this is something that there's so many like uh, these strip lightings that you can get now. I've got little colorful lights that my grandkids gave me. They put them up while I was away on holiday once and I came home and my whole room was lit up with, you know, colorful lights and I never took them down. So at night I put them on and that's my mood lighting. But, you know, you can get really cool lighting fixtures now, um, a little chandelier, little um, just, just table lamps, um, those ones that press and change color. Those are, there's some that I've got crystal that you can, that you can spin and they change color and sparkle on your wall. Just so many cool little things that don't cost too much. You know, I mean, I know if you're on a super tight budget, these are just, you know, charity shops. I mean, seriously, I get so much stuff there and um, a lot of it is very valuable and, and well, not just in money, but to me in, in what it offers. Dimmer switches on your lights that can give you another opportunity to kind of, you know, experience your nighttime world differently than your daytime world. And so dimming switches are also another cool idea for moody mood lighting. Another thing to consider as I look at my computer is create some tech free zones. If you've got a nice bigger house and you've got a spare room that you can turn into kind of meditation room or like a craft room or just a place that has no technology, no computers, no, maybe even take your, put your phone in there, you know, just, just have a place where you can go and just be, just put down the phone, breathe and think and be.
So those are some ideas. I think that, that seven of them, but you probably can think of a ton more. And I'd love you to put your comments in the section below. Let's have a sharing session here with each other. But, um, you know, 60 and Me is here for you. And we want to do and write articles and t talk about stories and do videos of what you want to hear. And so if you want to hear something that's going to really start a conversation with you and others that you know are like minded, please leave me the comments in the section below because I don't I can't read your minds yet. It's not a possible, not, not something I've, I've um, accomplished. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Anyway, have a really fabulous day, everybody. Hope that these seven ideas gave you some ways to re revitalize and, and, and refresh and, and um, amp up the beauty of your home, make it more of a private place for you, a special place that you can live in and enjoy every precious moment. Take good care, everybody. Sending you lots and lots of love. Bye for now.